Oh, it's time for me to spend some time with my favorite boy, Thor, the King Cobra. He's a mammoth King Cobra. And uh, those of you who don't know, I've been away in the US for about the last month. So it's the first time I've handled Thor or seen Thor in over a month. And he's my special boy. His head's over here in this part of the enclosure. His body is here, he's in good color. Come big boy, come solo, come on. And I want to take him out to do a bit of exercise today. So what I can do with these beautiful snakes here, is we let them out sometimes, get some good exercise in, where's your head? Come on, come solo. This is also, I have to be careful, he's just come out of mating season, and King Cobra particularly can get quite feisty in mating season. You know, you see, you see it there, there. Hello, my boy. Hello, my buddy. Hey. Well, you're looking small. Now, move your head a little bit. Move your head. I saw his brother, Goliath, in Florida just a week ago. So, it was so good seeing that snake again. He used to be with us. Uh, and he's looking super, super good there. Hello, my boy. How's it going, buddy? Should we go outside? Guys, come check this now. We're gonna bring him outside so you can have a little bit of exercise. I think for some of the species like this, they move so much in the wild that it's really cool to be able to give them extra enrichment and exercise. Just focus here while I walk. The biggest risk with a big king cobra is you don't want to stand on the tail. If you stand on the tail, you're gonna get a really bad reaction from a snake like this. If you don't stand on the tail and you just let him go through your arms like this, he's normally quite chilled out. Hello boy. But I'm on extra alert this morning because I haven't worked with him for over a month. So I'm just seeing what kind of mood he's in. Hello big boy, come on. Come on. And he's about 30 odd pounds of King Cobra. So it's not the easiest ugh, to move around. And he moves, of course. Come on, boy, let's go over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come, big guy. Here we go, we're gonna let him go here for a while. Here's my boy. Now you see our idea of his length. How's this snake? Isn't he a beautiful snake? For me, it's always been a dream of mine to work with King Cobras. If you want to cruise, go exercise, be free, my boy. Off you go. Off you go, you're just soaking up the sun. How's that? Can you see a size there? Yeah, it's a good size King Cobra. It's got a little bit of stuck shade over here. Get that off, come on. On your bark. Oh, hey, hood up. On your bark, big boy. Oh, look at that snake. Isn't that an impressive snake? Aren't you an impressive boy? You're such an impressive boy. Hey, look at him, hood is up. Here we go, my buddy, you're looking brilliant. Off you go, off you go. Look at him move. That is a serpentine motion. He's seen you already, Chris. That's a serpentine motion. Come on, I want you to move. Not come back at me. Hey, boy, are you coming back at your dad? Look at this snake. It's absolutely beautiful to be able to spend time with these animals. To be able to work with this animal. He was the first King Cobra in the whole of the African continent that ever sired baby king cobras and Goldie she's a handful she is the first king cobra ever captively born on the African continent so he's a very special snake to me he wasn't the first king cobra I ever got but he he's the most chilled out and he's he's just such a great ambassador animal for the species um, I love king cobras in case you haven't noticed I think they they're one of the most incredible animals in all the world and a boy because they're super intelligent and they can be very dangerous but like this guy here he's a confident snake so he's saying dingo i'm a king cobra don't forget that but he's not showing any malice oh, don't don't change what i'm saying now to people boy I'm trying to show how nice and chilled out you are look at the size of him guys look at the size of him he's just head he's actually got the second biggest yield of venom of any snake in the world. That's how much venom is sitting on the top of this head over here. Come boy, come. Hello my boy. Good boy, what a beautiful boy. So he's got a massive head full of neurotoxic venom, which will shut down your nervous system really, really quickly. Basically, all your most toxic venomous snakes in the world, your mambas, your crates, your cobras, your tarp hands, your brown snakes, have all got neurotoxic venom, 
because that's the one that kills you quickly. I want you to go, go, exercise, get it out your system. Come on, come on. Go, my boy, go, my boy. Look at him move. I think a King Cobra moving like this is one of the most beautiful things. Head up, look at that body just winding, guys. Look at him go. I think it's so important to let your big snakes like this just exercise a bit. Not by the crocodiles. Got some small crocodiles and yeah, off you go. Look at it. How's them going there? Isn't that a, one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen in your life? Come big boy. Come big guy. Let's go the other way. You've got a, isn't that amazing? He's got a whole garden to go exploring and he wants to come to something that looks like an enclosure. Oh, not this way, go that way. Come on. Look at him, how he cruises. Just effortlessly cruises. Very fast snakes when they want to be, these guys, even though they're big and bulky. Very quick. Okay, I'm just going to hold them up for you so you can see them properly. Let's take this off for a second. Come right up to us here, Kirst. Okay, give him a wave. No, looking at a shadow on the ground. No looking at shadows, buddy. Okay, I'm going to lift him up. Look at that. How's that snake? The King Cobra, the most, one of the most notorious venomous snakes in all the world. I'm going to bring him up to you a bit. Uh, look at that. Isn't that impressive? Isn't that a mighty, mighty snake? Just lift him up one more time. Yeah, he's quite heavy. Good boy. Look at that. Look at him. And he's actually, he's, he's hooding for us beautifully. Sometimes this snake, it's impossible to even get him to hood. I think he's just magnificent. Put your comments down below, guys. What do you think of this King Cobra? He's big, he's beautiful, he's pretty chilled out. They don't feel easily threatened by people. He's grown up amongst people. So often what will happen is I'll let him here on the grass and he'll go back into the snake room and into his own enclosure when it was lower down back in the day because he doesn't associate people with negativity. That's why he's not trying to kill me now. He's fully uh, fanged. He's got his fangs here. He's got his big venom glands. Babe, come up here. Show the top of his head. You'll see where his venom glands are. Look at the sides of that head. Those are venom glands right there. Side and side, the big swelling of venom glands. And uh, even though he's fully loaded, he doesn't want to kill me. He's just, he's showing he's big and he's powerful. But he's not trying to kill me because you're my buddy, aren't you? No, he's not my buddy. He doesn't see me and think, this is my friend. He recognizes me. They definitely recognize certain people from other people, but he understands I'm not something trying to kill him. I'm not something trying to eat him. So because of that, I'm not reacting badly. King Cobras, who doesn't love a King Cobra? I think they're just some of the most magnificent snakes in all the world. And they're the biggest venomous snake. Now he's going to feed there, he's using his body. The biggest venomous snake on the planet. The mighty, the infamous, no. King Cobra. We'll see you next time. Dingo out.